I have an opinion on this myself. Uh, a lot of lean mass hypersponders have an, a, an A1C of between 5.5 and 5.9, for example. I myself, I see mine bounce around. You throw a CGM on me and it's mostly flat, right? Now, again, speculative, I'll emphasize it's a hypothesis, but I definitely believe that's homeostatic because a higher A1C is normally indicative of diabetes because diabetes is ultimately a condition of glucose dysregulation, whether type 1 or type 2. It's a lack of control, right? It's a lack of homeostasis and all of the downstream impacts to it, right? Okay, so what do I think is happening? Well, I think this just literally goes back to Randall cycle. That's the Occam's razor for me. We have greater and greater fat adaptation, meaning that there's less GLUT4 expression by the cells. To put it a different way, you have more fatty acids literally inside the cytosol of your cells because that's what they're being fueled by. And the Randall cycle teaches us that there is a competition between glucose and fatty acids to an extent to where if you're getting powered by fatty acids, you don't need to be powered by glucose if the cell is capable of that. Now you do have cells that do need glucose like red blood cells. They are, they need that, right? And why wouldn't you want cells to spare out glucose just with less GLUT4 expression, leaving more in the bloodstream? Well, this is further demonstrated by things like OGTTs or glucose tolerance tests. If you're fat adapted and you have uh, an OGTT, you'll fail it. Why? Well, part of the clue as to why is that you, if you decide to go back on carbohydrates and you're metabolically healthy, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll succeed it in three, four days. Why? Because you left fat adaptation. So that higher level of glucose, to me, seems like you have configured your body via less GLUT4 expression, such that a new bolus of glucose coming in looks very scary, because it just it makes your blood glucose go like crazy high. So your CGM's going through the roof. But I would argue, I think that that's not necessarily even scary relative to the degree of which there's less off-ramping of the glucose into your cells. Your cells are just, they don't have the off-ramps. They have a greater affinity for fats. They have less of an affinity for glucose. Do I think this impacts your A1C? I definitely do. I think that you have longer residence time of glucose molecules in the body of somebody who's metabolically healthy and fat adapted, generally speaking.